Hi Golden Friends, let's do a rapid game together and as you can see my rating dropped 34 points something like that 20-30 point drop because I played some rapid game and I lost and as usual as always I'm suspicious that my opponents were a little bit let's say dishonest not that necessarily 100% cheaters, but yeah. Anyways, this is the status of us today. And what was the opening? I forget that. What is the structure? Structure is a strange. Sounds like modern Sicilian dragon. Sounds like everything. But pro purchase. what i'm doing here so i fast forward opening moves because i want to see what can i do okay he did a very comical move moving the palm forward i should of course relocate my knight maybe knight d8 b7 then c5 is the option for me but this was too committal. He wanted to remove defender of my queen, but he doesn't have a good attack running as well. So I cannot even go to b8 because I didn't thought about b8 because I don't see immediate future for my knight. So I didn't thought about it, but now I'm thinking more is that then I can play b4 and put the bishop on b5 and bring the knight to d7 maybe that's option let's hope for the best so b5 b4 if takes i take that's fine if pushes i don't know he cannot push right because i win the knight so he takes, I take, and that's fine, I think. I have a A pawn, he has a B pawn. He don't go back. I mean, that's that's one of the most strange things that he can do. Yeah, he can go forward, of course. Then I just grab this knight. I need a space. Yeah, and grab this knight. Or... I grab the pawn. I cannot grab the pawn. Oh, wait a moment. It's a complicated position. I cannot grab the pawn. I can grab the knight. Why I didn't grab the knight? Because I saw that if I take the knight, then takes my pawn, attacks my queen. That's not what I want. So... Let's bring the bishop out as we wish. Ooh, I see second dangerous move. If I bring the bishop out, plays bishop uh, b5, b, b6, and attacks my queen. So maybe the best is for me to grab this knight and hope. Nobody dies by hope <laughs> because of hope for best. So. I have no choice but to go back. Let's go back. Yeah, he had that intermezzo move. No, I want to exchange queens. Uh, that doesn't sound sane move, but uh, I'm offering exchange of queens and I want to go behind his pawns and attack the pawns from behind. Hope that it works. And on the other hand, I see that his bishop is doing not that great so what can I do here I can I take the pawn yeah I see I can I take this pawn next I exchange pair of rooks he plays very well actually plays very well and finds all intermezzo moves 
that's really strange. These are very similar to engine suggestion, like first bring the rook there and then go for exchange of queens. But because he doesn't spend like fixed amount of time for every move, so I not that suspect that he uses engine. So what to do next? Uh, very difficult. Very difficult. I'm happy with the row actually. If he moves the queen away, I'm very happy actually. <laughs> but of course he doesn't. So what to do next? I don't know. Let's see. He moves the queen away. And we get back one of the pawns or no? No, we don't. He brings back the bishop, but that's fine. As long as he's cutting off his queen and bishop, uh, his queen and rook, then it's fine. Yeah. So. We try all the best and let's see what happens. If he moved the bishop away to defend the e pawn with the queen, then anyways I will capture that pawn because I'm attacking to his rook with my bishop. So hopefully this pawn is gonna, unless he finds something new. Yeah, this pawn is gonna up hopefully. So uh, I take the pawn, the e pawn. If he takes with the bishop, then I'm happy. But he doesn't. He tries to attack my queen most likely. He moves the bishop away. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea what he can do. So let me just take the pawn. And you know, I I didn't see any good move for him actually. Except giving up the bishop. It's not even good. I mean he loses the second pawn as well. Because I'm attacking rook and he cannot defend the rook and the pawn. So I win the second pawn as well. Wow. Unexpected. So, for now, my knight is a blocker there. I should activate my rook as well. Knights are very good blockers, but I should be careful. What's that? I'm attacking rook and a knight. What if he offers rook exchange? Wow, really? Really? If my king position wasn't bad, I was going to play king rook c2. Rook c2, he plays queen a8. And then... Then I can go back with the uh, rook, right? Let's try it. At least try it. And then see what happens. So... I can literally go back with the rook. And then reevaluate the position. No, again, I'm attacking the rook and the pawn. So, I should offer exchange. Maybe improve my king position a little bit. And then offer exchange. I 
I don't know if this is a good exchange because I'm thinking in a very, very bad situation at the very end, I sacrifice the knight for that pawn. Then I have two pass pawn. I will create two pass pawn, hopefully. And then he should sacrifice a piece for uh, stopping my pawn. So it's a trade-off. It's a trade-off and we'll see who will succeed in this trade-off. Let me be a sneaky little bit. For no, he cannot push the pawn because I will take his uh, bishop. I take this knight. Okay, what to do next? I'm thinking about my intention from bishop. Nah. D4 was to play rook c2, attacking the f pawn and winning that pawn and making sure that I will have two passed pawns at the moment that I give up a knight for his pawn. So, what can he do here? The way he sings, he should retreat the knight, right? And it doesn't have a good square to retreat actually. Yeah, he has this score, but now I'm trying. I'm trying to get in. So what can I do? I can win that uh, knight and then win the pawn. What one thing I cannot do is that I cannot leave the C file. Otherwise, it was awesome to go to... Maybe it's awesome to go to A4 and attack the bishop. Yeah, well, let's go, let's go. I thought, if initially I thought that he can play rook c in the, the c file, but once he moved the rook away, I simply grabbed the pawn. No, I can, no, I'm threatening play rook a6, winning his uh, b pawn. Wow, amazing, amazing. So rook a6 as a plant. Attack the knight, and where does it go? No idea. Just let's see. Could have played rook a2, being a little bit more sneaky, but I didn't need that. The a b pawn is much, much more important than anything else in this game. Couldn't believe that we convert this game after going down a a whole pawn and my structure was also not better let's analyze it at the end i think i was completely losing but now i feel that i'm completely winning so never give up guys this is the moral of this game so i can win that knight right he is sacrificed the knight i can win that knight okay he resigned Thank you, thank you, uh, and didn't bother our time. Uh, right now, it's like too much for me, a little for him. But um, let me go a little bit backward at this position. I was losing, I think. Yes, C is plus four, plus five. But yes, be a sneaky. And I have a, I have a video about Alirza Firuzja against um, Arjun Ergiasi. Oh, what's the opening? It's Sicilian Lusker. I, I tried to play Sicilian, but... What's this variation? Close Sicilian? Then Alpine? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't see. I mean, C3 Sicilian is C3 Sicilian. But then you don't put the bishop, mm, white uh, escort bishop on G2. Maybe it's a line that I just don't know. I mean, and um, then the, this is a close Sicilian. It's too passive. Okay. And I play the Ragon style but uh, it's uh, too passive and then uh, then it's not at the end it wasn't too passive here maybe i shouldn't have taken that i should have yeah i should have pushed it uh, six but i didn't like that for several reasons first it was going to be a closed game and i'm performing very bad in closed games so i tried to open even though i gave up some 
uh, will center to my opponent and we went forward it was he had always advantage and i didn't know what to do at this moment i didn't say that okay let's develop the queen here i saw the lot i didn't know what to do knight this was the last move i could have considered knight e5 go into um, into the center yeah and then what happens here i mean wow this is crazy if takes we take and he has to move the queen and we have time to retreat the knight that was beautiful that was beautiful that i didn't see it i uh, immediately i said that okay certainly i shouldn't go e5 because push to my knight and then i don't have any escape square but i didn't see counterplay from the other side of the board so i retreat the knight and he's clear plus two and here is my blunder. I first moved, then sought. And then didn't know what to do. Here, it doesn't matter retreating the queen or not. You should create counterplay. Yeah, I was saying that there is a video in my channel about Arjun and Alireza playing against each other. And Alireza was really sneaky in that game, to really tricky. And yeah, it's plus 7, plus 5, and so on. I was happy with the draw of course and he wasn't happy so he gave up gave up some positional advantage to me right now my queen is a king of the game ruling the board and here gave up a pawn that was uh like uh, breaking point of the game like i um, the ice break here i feel that at this moment on i was doing good i knew what to do and here it was the last blunder i was really expecting him to play knight e2 develop the knight and connect the rook and uh, uh, queen together but he was angry losing the pawn i don't know uh or I was expecting him to move the bishop away and attack my knight with two forces. But anyways, he didn't complicate the things. And then we were happy from now on. And here we grab the next pawn. And bring the rook into the attack. Being a little bit sneaky. Okay, here sneakiness wasn't good. He could have bring the rook to the... Ooh, what a move. What a move. He could have bring the rook to the c file. I couldn't capture this rook because after after some exchange and after he moves away. Oh, sorry. He should go there to not have a check. Then his queen has the d8 square. And I should run, you know. I should run. This d8 square is for his queen. And it's very, very difficult for me to continue this game. Wow, wow. What a miss by me. It was a equalized position after a lot of attempt i equalized the position and then such a miss by me anyways let's go here he saw that what move i made they made and retreat the queen and yo let's go forward i want to reach to a position that okay here i say that i want to escape with the king and i don't want to draw the game even though the game is very derroish. So, and here was the point that I said that in a very worst case, and you can see as uh, well in the engine evaluation, engine says black is doing a little bit better. In a very worst case, in a catastrophic case, I will give up a knight for that pawn, but I have two pawns that I will try to make two passed pawns out of them. For example, by attacking the f-pawn and they are somehow unstoppable to my eyes here i was almost winner even though i was planning to give up a knight but then he blundered he just pushed the pawn and this was uh, also the, the the other problem for him was that he couldn't push this pawn easily yes because as he did uh, my bishop comes in and then it's end of a day i mean i don't even need to sacrifice the knight anymore but that's uh, there as the last option. Yeah, from now on, I played good. I don't know, here it says that directly attack the pawn, right? Uh, I don't know why I uh, did it slowly. So, 
doesn't help, doesn't help, and here he resigned. Yes, I hope you enjoyed, and yes, be a sneaky guys, don't give up easily, you, you saw that I was minus 5, <laughs> it was plus 5 for white, and then I won. But uh, yeah, he was up with a single pawn, and he had a pass pawn basically, and uh, he couldn't convert it, uh, and it's not necessary, and he's a high rated player, right, 20... 200 something 2300 almost 2300 play yeah it's not that your opponents if you are like 1500 1800 1900 i don't know it's not that your opponents are um, super grand masters even super grand masters sometimes cannot convert it watch my other video about erjun and alireza erjun was plus five at some point but couldn't convert it and yes, here is as well. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye.